Hi everybody, welcome back to the saddest fucking music you'll ever hear. Yeah, that's how it go. Talk to Lyra about it. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? No. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Serend. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I don't know if I've, if I've done most of that, that's the thing. Uh, actually, what, what does Chakwas have to say about Caden? Yes, Kaden? Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alarm? Uh, I enlisted right out uh, of... never mind. Good human. Goodbye, Commander. Literally, she's the most, like, fucking one-dimensional character ever, I guess. Uh, it's going to the captain's, uh, quarters. You know, it just occurred to me something. There's absolutely no bathrooms on this ship. Where do you go when you want to take a dump? <laughs> is, that the, is that what this is? No, this is just fucking... You chill here. Alright, guys, we have determined in the future nobody needs to take a shit. I assume we have, like, bacteria and nanobots in our fucking ass, and they just... They evaporate all the... All the <laughs> everything. Let's, let's not get into that. No, actually, we need to completely theorize what kind of futuristic bullshittery is going on where we don't need bathrooms in the future. What the... What? Oh, dude, he's here? What the fuck? Why is he here? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. A good officer's worth a lot more than your respect. I'd rather have him back. The loss of a trusted ally is never easy to accept. It is a shame that the greatest among us are prone to such sacrifices. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Show me Let your me supplies. See what you have. Uh, and this is, oh, dude, meta job upgrade. Sweet. Let's get that. Let's get this fucking council license. Let's get this license here. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what the dear old requisition officer has. Let's see what you've got. You bet, you I like how he doesn't have anything to say about this whole situation. Guardian something. Oh, there's a lot of good shit here, actually. Oh, we have a new shotgun now as well. I mean, I think we had one to begin with, but I wasn't using it. How's this armor compare? Oh god, it's this armor. Anyway, yeah, we can't we can't use it. It's it's impossible, actually, guys. It's the one that that pisses me off. This is like the edgiest music I think I've ever heard. All right, well, we'll give the shotgun to Rex later. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Alenko, 
you, me. I know. If we hadn't gotten pinned down, you would have been there to help him. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in Torfin? We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes? I should yeah, okay, we can. We can't talk to her. <clears throat> All right. Where's Rex? All right, there we go. All right. Uh, it's, uh, that's a pretty fucking nice weapon, actually. What do I have in there right now? Rail extension. This one? We can give him the better rail extension. Incendiary rounds. I'm actually okay with that. Probably should get the combat scanner, too. Just someone should have one. Might as well be Rex. Hey, Rex. What's, what's going on? Commander. Things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. That's what I expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh, we love Rex. And next next chance we get, we're gonna Vermeer uh, Ashley, don't worry. Hey Shepard. Do you need something? Uh, I guess there's nothing I here. Should go. See you later. Well, it didn't take the entire episode to talk to people. Excellent. See, we have to, we have to, we have to keep everybody in line. I wonder what Joker has to say. Actually, I don't think we talked to Joker at all. We'll, we'll go to, we'll go to Joker real quick. It's fucking music, I swear. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. Sometimes making the tough choice is the only way a mission can succeed. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Alright, awesome. Alright, Navigator Presley, what's your, what's your take on the situation? If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having nine <laughs> humans on our ship, though. What, we're, we're on this fucking conversation? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. He had nothing to say about Caden. Literally gave less of a shit about Caden than I do. I, I, I didn't think it was possible, but... I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gap. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. So, as far as I know, I think that we're not locked into basically uh, completing the entire game. <clears throat> I, I, that's, all, that's the only reason I did Vermeer now. But I, I, I'm pretty sure once I get once I step into Elios, I think that's that's it's done. Then like we're we're in the end game. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the council's finally taking real action against Seren. The ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. 
Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the Conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Fucking piece of shit. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux. That club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Alright. I guess you're coming with us. Uh, oh, we can't choose Kaden. Oh no. Oh no. Rip. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. It's over here. Oh, there's a keeper there. Yeah, we should probably find the rest of the keepers, right? That seems like a good idea. We let's go down here. All right. <clears throat> God, she still has that fucking armor. Fucking di like digital camo. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. It's probably because I saved everybody. I mean, I don't know why it would turn a profit like after I fucking. I, I literally vermired the entire like the the the, the 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 giant alien, the giant tentacle monster. So you know, it should be worthless now. There's no research to be done anymore. How are they turning a profit? Where's the money there? The fuck? It makes no sense. All right, let's go talk to this guy first. Oh, actually, did we get this keeper? Yeah, we we want to actually start finishing shit here. Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Alright, let me see if there's anything new. Oh, we can get another pistol. Uh, it's no better than mine, really. But I think, um... I think what's her fuck face will want it. Uh, Liara, yeah, she'll want it. Huh. Well, now we have a couple of options here. What the hell? Onyx 4? 
We're still at this tech level of tech. Hello, Commander. Let me see if he has more grenades, actually. I'll open the rare stock. Cause I could actually use that biotic amp. Oh well, whatever. It's a license. I just need to grab all that. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's give her the pistol, cause she usually uses pistols. I just gave her the assault rifle as well. Uh, and apparently, really triggered people. So it was not my intention. But some days you gotta just deal with it, guys. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's have a look at the journal. Let's see some assignments we have on this station. Uh, yeah, we're not going back to Pinnacle Station. <laughs> dude, I fucking hate it. I'm not doing shit I hate. Oh, oh, dude, the fan. Oh, of course, Conrad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the scanning device. Okay, so we have six more, uh, things that we haven't done yet. What's over here? Uh, let's go just down to the wards. They actually might play some kind of, uh... Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. When pressed on the issues, however, Commander Shepard reportedly lost control and assaulted the reporter. We'll have exclusive footage later today. <laughs> I just seem fast. Oh. What the hell? Off Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Oh, there you go. Where is this exactly? Oh, really? I didn't even know this went down here kind of thing. I, I, I've actually never been there in this game. Right, we got that keeper. That fat keeper ass. No Excuse nope. me! You're the Spectre, right? I said no blood for aliens, the fuck? Commander Shepard. It is an honor to speak with you. Cram, your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier. But I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. Shepard's actions speak for themselves. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space. 
but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Stay out of this. Of course, Shepard. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like shan -Shi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of shan -Shi couldn't happen again? We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Alright, that's pretty funny. I have to work the crowd, Commander. Maybe we can do lunch sometime? That's fucking funny. Hey, Flux. Have I been here before? I feel like th this is now the time to explore everything. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Is he even looking at me? I don't think he's looking at me. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Is your assistant incompetent, or just inexperienced? Worse. He's an alien sympathizer. My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. This guy like has Asperger's or something. He's not even looking at me. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, did I already do this one? Sorry, I was just thinking about what to do. Is your assistant in Worse. Sorry, my bad. Aliens. My assistant. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. I'll see what I can do, but I can't guarantee anything. I understand. I'll pay you back for it. And I can even throw in a little extra. Thanks for your help. Like I said, you can find... Alright, so... So I need to get him a stimulant at the med bay. Over in the med for his treaty negotiation. Let's go do that, actually. This is interesting. I want to see where this goes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally for Tar Forma, uh, Tar, Tar, whatever shit. Uh, I don't even remember the name anymore. The guys seem nice. All right, let's go get a buy the thing. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. Oh girl, what the fuck do you need now? You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. 
Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. So they want a stimulant, right? As a mental stimulant. This is this is what Elias Keeler asked you for. Oh, As Medjol, what the? A depressant, non-addictive narcotic used to treat stress in humans, is prescribed to ex executives and government officials that tend to overwork. Let's buy him that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique item, though. Hey, cool. Oh, dude, reduction in power cooldown. What kind of, like, any kind of power cooldown? Cool. Okay, so we're going to get him, instead of a stimulant, we're going to get him a depressant. Look at that shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, let's go give him the depressant. <laughs> I wonder if that works, actually. Yeah, fuck him. Alright, let's go have a look. I actually haven't been up here yet. But, dude, Rex is uh, doing stealth. Amazing. He's learned well. Uh, any luck getting what I asked for? Give him the depressant. Here. This should take care of all your problems. Perfect. The Solarians will never see me coming. Here, this is for your trouble. What is... This isn't the stimulant. What did you give me? Humanity doesn't need drug addicts negotiating important deals. Get some rest. You bastard. You set me up, alien loving scum. <laughs> How does he feel like the effects of it that oft that that fast? Holy shit, I gotta level up. Alright, what was I doing with this? Oh yeah, I was just doing hacking. It's fucking amazing. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go all the way and did that shit. Rex. Oh shit, Master Barrier. Sweet. Alright, I mean, I would like to go up there, but, I mean, there was something to do in the markets. Actually, we're gonna end the episode here, so fuck you. Bye.